Welcome to this week's Wednesdays in Prayer. We're giving God thanks once more for the opportunity where we can meet for reflection and prayer. Today our scripture passage comes from Proverbs 20 verse 14. It's no good, it's no good, says the buyer, then goes off and boasts about the purchase. This is the word of the Lord. This verse highlights the folly of deceit and hypocrisy. It warns against dishonesty in business dealings and in life in general. It speaks to the irony of someone who criticizes a purchase they made, yet boasts about it afterwards, revealing the inconsistency of their character. The buyers claim that the product is bad could stem from various reasons. They might genuinely believe the product does not meet their expectations or lack quality. Perhaps they made the purchase impulsively and later realized it was not a wise decision. Alternatively, they could be trying to negotiate a lower price or seek compensation by portraying the product in a negative light. This strategy reflects a common aspect of bargaining and negotiation where parties may exaggerate flaws or express discontent in order to gain an advantage in the negotiation process. However, while such tactics may sometimes lead to a favorable outcome for the buyer, they also carry ethical considerations regarding honesty and integrity. Regardless of the motive behind the buyer's claim, the verse serves as a caution against deceit and hypocrisy reminding us of the importance of sincerity and integrity in all our dealings. The importance of sincerity and integrity in our dealings cannot be overlooked, as they form the foundation of trustworthy relationships and honorable conduct. When we uphold sincerity and integrity in our interactions, we honor both God and others, fostering trust, respect, and goodwill. Sincerity involves being genuine and truthful in our words and actions. It means aligning our outward expressions with our inner convictions and values. When we speak sincerely, others can trust that our intentions are honest and our words reflect our true beliefs. Integrity, on the other hand, encompasses consistency and moral uprightness in all aspects of life. It means adhering to ethical principles even when no one is watching and consistently acting in accordance with our values and commitments. Integrity builds credibility and earns the respect of those around us. In our dealings, whether in business, personal relationships, or everyday interactions, sincerity and integrity serve as guiding principles. They empower us to communicate openly and honestly, to honor our promises and commitments, and to treat others with fairness and respect. When we prioritize sincerity and integrity, we not only honor God, but also contribute to the building of a more trustworthy and harmonious society. Our actions become a reflection of our character, shining a light in a world often clouded by deceit and self-interest. Let us therefore commit ourselves to cultivating sincerity and integrity in all that we do, striving to be a people of honesty, consistency, and moral uprightness. In doing so, we not only honor God, but also inspire others to do the same, creating a ripple effect of integrity that can positively impact the world around us. Amen. As we go to prayer, I invite us now to focus on asking God's direction as we demonstrate sincerity and integrity in our relationships. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, as we come before you in prayer today, we humbly ask for your guidance and strength to live lives of sincerity and integrity in all our relationships. 
Help us to be genuine in our words and actions, reflecting the truth and purity of our hearts. Grant us the wisdom to recognize the importance of honesty and transparency in our interactions. May we speak with sincerity, letting our words be a true reflection of our intentions and beliefs. Help us to avoid deceit and falsehood, knowing that integrity begins with truthfulness. Lord, instill within us a steadfast commitment to integrity, even when faced with temptation or pressure to compromise our values. May we be consistent in our conduct, aligning our actions with the principles of righteousness and honor. Help us to treat others with respect and fairness, honoring their dignity and worth as your beloved children. May our relationships be characterized by trust, mutual respect, and genuine care for one another. Lord, we acknowledge that we are imperfect and prone to fail. Forgive us for the times when we have been insincere or lacking in integrity. Strengthen us to learn from our mistakes and strive for better in the future. May our lives be a testimony to your grace and truth, shining brightly in a world that often values deception and self-interest. Use us as instruments of your love and righteousness, bringing healing and restoration to broken relationships and communities. In all that we do, May we bring glory to your name, O Lord. May our commitment to sincerity and integrity reflect your character and draw others closer to you. Heavenly Father, we lift up to you those relationships that have been damaged by insincerity or a lack of integrity. We acknowledge the pain and hurt that has been caused, and we humbly ask for your healing and restoration. Lord, we pray for those who have been affected by insincerity, whether it be their own or someone else's. Grant them the courage to confront their fears and doubts and to find sincerity in you. Help them to recognize their inherent worth and value as their beloved children and to trust in your unfailing love. We pray for those who have been wounded by the lack of integrity in their relationships. Bring healing to their hearts and help them to forgive as you have forgiven them. May they find the strength to rebuild trust and to extend grace and mercy to those who have wronged them. Lord, we ask for your wisdom and guidance in navigating the path towards reconciliation. Help us to humble ourselves to seek forgiveness where needed, and to extend forgiveness to others. May your Holy Spirit work in the hearts of all involved, bringing about a spirit of repentance, restoration, and renewal. We trust in your promise, Lord, that you are able to redeem even the most broken of relationships. May your grace abound in abundance, bringing healing and wholeness to those who are hurting. In the name of Jesus Christ, who reconciles us to you and to one another, we pray. Amen. Thanks once again, friends, for joining us today. I'm Oral Campbell. God bless you. Until next time.